Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV. And if you ever wanted to scan documents, receipts, or files on your iPhone, now with iOS 26, Apple has added the new preview app, making scanning free and super easy. I'll also show you how to scan with the Notes app and Files app. No extra downloads are needed. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you how to scan documents with your iPhone or iPad. And we're gonna use this new application that Apple just released with iOS 26 called Preview. So if you haven't installed or updated iOS 26, there's a card right here. It'll show you how to do that. And then you'll have this new look on your iPhone with the ability to use this Preview app. Now, once you have iOS 26 installed, this is the preview app you want to open. So tap on that and it's gonna open up a page like this. And right off the bat, you can see it says scan documents. Now there's a few things you need to watch within this so that you understand the settings, but it's very easy to follow. All right, so I've just grabbed a test document here and you would do this with your document receipt or your file and you're gonna place it on a surface that has a contrasting color. So if your paper is white, you don't want white in the background. I've got black, space gray, gray, so that's good. You're gonna come back to your preview app and tap on scan documents, and instantly you'll see this blue screen. It'll scan that document, and there it is. Once the scan has been completed, you're gonna tap down here, and you can see a preview of that scan. Now, the way this also works is if you do scan a document and you hold this over, it's gonna continuously scan. So if I don't move my phone fast enough, it's going to keep scanning. And this is good if you have multiple pages because you can just keep flipping through those pages or bringing another page in and it'll just constantly scan those pages, making it very easy for you to just scan and get through a whole bunch. If you don't like this, there is a button here. It's called shutter. I just turned it off. It says auto shutter off. So now if I get another page, it'll still give me that blue when it sees what I'm scanning, but I have to press this shutter button here now to actually scan it. It'll give me this preview here and I can choose to keep or retake it. All right, so let's go through the whole process so you know the settings and everything and how it will work for you. So again, your page is down. We've got the preview app. We're going to tap scan document. As soon as you're ready, it'll scan. And then we're going to tap down here and we can preview our scan. Now, whether you're doing a manual scan or the auto scan as we did here, you'll get settings at the bottom. First, if you're not happy with your scan, tap retake and it'll retake it for you and you can start going through these settings at the bottom. You have adjust. So as you can see, there is some black on there. If that doesn't matter to you, you don't really need to do anything. But if you do want to straighten it out or make it a little bit more clean, you can pull that out just like that and then tap the check mark there and now it doesn't have those little black edges. The next one is filters. As you can see, this is sort of a scan that has a color to it. If you don't like that, you can tap here, you can set it to black and white, and now it's got that black and white, so it'll save you some space when you are sending this out. Grayscale, again, pulling that out, making it the grayscale. Color brings you back to that, and then you have photo here, which turns it to a photo. So for me, I'm gonna set it to black and white, we can also rotate it. So if it's not appearing the way you want, you can flip it. And then lastly, we have delete. You can tap on it, remove it completely from your device. Now, while you are in the scanner app, you can see it's just gonna keep scanning here. So I'm gonna tap on that to stop it. But what we're gonna be looking at here is some of these options. So live while you're scanning. So before you even start your scan, you can turn the flash on here. Right now it's set to auto. So if you're in a darker area, it won't be on. You also have the on or off, so you can control if it's on. So now if I do that and I set this to the auto, the flash will automatically flash on the back here when it does scan those documents. So I'm gonna turn that back to auto. And then you also have those filters. So if we grab something that has some color and we hold over that scan with grayscale, now you can see in the preview here, it did turn it to a grayscale scan right off the bat. So you don't have to go back and edit that scan. Additionally, whenever you're ready, I have seven scans down here. You can tap on those previews and kind of move between each one. And they'll all save in one file there. But you can always click up here on this check mark and it'll save all of those documents 
like this. So this is great, especially for those larger files that you might have. Some of these scans didn't work out because I was moving, but you can see all those pages and that gives you even more abilities around these documents. So first you have the name of your scan. So you can always tap on the drop down here, rename it, export it, print it, move it, duplicate it, lock it. And what you scan here actually doesn't just save in this preview app, it's actually being saved to your files app. So if you don't know what that is, we'll go over files a little bit later, but these will be there for you, just like on your computer when you have them in a folder. So you also have a share option here, so you can open that up, text this out, airdrop it, email it, things like that. This gives you information about the scan. So when you scanned it, the size, things like that. So that way you know that this scan with all of those different uh, pages was eight megabytes. And then down here you have some writing tools. So like markup or autofill abilities here. And if you tap this here, it's actually giving you the ability to fill in different sections of these documents that you scanned. So a better example of this is this scan document, which it already pulled up at the top, autofill can assist with filling out this form. So now you can actually scan a document and fill it out straight from here. So let's tap on autofill up here, or you can tap on this down here and it brings up these little boxes here. So you can see it says closing date. We can now tap in that spot. So we could say January 23rd, 2026, and we can tap away and now that's in there and we can actually save it this way and send it out via email. And now it's pre-filled out rather than manually filling it out, then scanning it. And then your handwriting may not be readable depending on who you are. You also have this option down here. It says signature. If you have signatures already inputted in your system, they'll appear here like I do, or you can tap add, and this will allow you to tap here and add a signature in. So you can put your signature like this, tap that, it's going to input that signature in this little box. And now we can actually pull up like this and sign documents just like that. Tap away and there's our signature. You can rotate it with your fingers and things like that. This is a very good feature that you can use while scanning documents. Additionally, here we have a markup tool. If you've ever used markup tool with your photos, very similar. You just get a whole bunch of brushes, pens, things like that, that you can actually use to write things or maybe you needed to highlight something. So we'll grab this, we'll put it to that color. And let's say we just wanted this line to be highlighted, whatever, or circled. You can put that on that as well. And then anytime you can always come up here and tap on those three dots, you see all of these extra options as well. So you can share it, search, rotate and search is pretty cool too because you can search for things that are on the page and uh, i'll show you that with the other document there but when you're done you can tap on the back here and it saves it so for example i come back here there's the one that i just saved tap on it and there it is with all of my edits additionally let's go back to the one we were looking at before that had a whole bunch of these things here and let's just uh zoom in here i'll pick up this word so bag Let's go to the top and we tap on search. Let's type in bag. It's actually going to search on this document for that. We'll tap search and we'll see if it pulls it up. And it did, it says one of one. So we're gonna zoom in here and there it is. It's highlighting it. It figured out that that was bag. So that is the preview and some of the editing features within that previewing app. You can pull to the right and it'll bring up all the pages so you can bounce through each of those. And the great thing is that it's saving these in PDFs. A lot of people ask me, what's the difference between scanning these documents using this app or other apps and just taking a photo? And the big difference is when you scan, it cuts off everything in the background rather than having that photo that grabs everything. You get a nice rectangular, more professional, and you can send this out and email it. Now, the next way I'm going to show you how to scan documents with the files app, which is very similar. So you can just search for it. It's this one right here. Type in files in the search or look for it, tap, and it'll open up like this, very similar to the preview app, but you have these options down here. And this way to scan, you tap up here and you can see it says scan document. Same deal here. You're going to grab your page, 
open up that files app, tap here and tap scan documents. It's going to then give you that sort of screen again. All the same settings and features we just had are on that screen so that it's very easy for you to go over. Again, you can tap here, you get these settings, you can go back and you can save it just by clicking on there. And this time though, when you save it, it's giving you these folders and files and areas that are on your iCloud drive, or you can go back and you can see all of these areas. The files app is like the Explorer window on Windows computers or the Finder window on MacBooks or Macs. And you can just choose where you wanna save it. So if you wanna save it in the preview, you can. That's the one we were just using that preview app. You can save it in downloads on your iCloud or on your phone. So if I save it to my phone, tap save. Now, if I go back to my main page here and I go on my iPhone, there's my scan document. I can then tap on it and hold and then access all of these options. I can share it out to whoever I may need or want to. I can use markup and things like that. So very similar to preview, but this one is kind of inside your folder. So if you're working within folders or files, this is where you would go. Great thing too. I'm going to just name this so you guys can see that it's there. I'm going to call it uh, 11111. Because we did this in files, if we go back to preview and we go over here, we tap on browse, we have all of those options there as well. So we can even access and edit using this preview app, which is used for accessing, modifying, editing different files and PDFs. You can find it here, go on your phone. There it is right there. I can open it in this preview app and I can start auto filling these. I can add my signature and all of the stuff I just showed you. Now I'm going to show you how to scan documents using the notes app. Let's create a new note and this is what you should see. Now, if you come down here to this little bar, you have this paper clip. If you tap on that, the paper clip is going to allow you to scan text or scan documents. Now, scanning documents, again, you're gonna open it up. You get the same options. The only difference with notes is that it scans it in yellow just because the notes app is yellow, I guess, and it does exactly the same thing. Your scan will appear at the bottom. When you've scanned it, you get the same settings. You can open it up and this is what you get here. And when you're done, you can just tap the check mark. And this time it saves it in a note. So if we go back, you can see there's my note. It titles it based on the top word or the first words that are in that note. I can tap on it and see it within the notes app here. I can tap these little icons here. If I had multiple pages, I can access those. The good thing about using it in notes is that you can actually type things underneath if you want to add little bits to it. If you want to maybe add a photo, you can even use the markup tool right here as well. So if you want to draw, you can draw underneath, draw on it, but it's just going to be saved in notes this way. So it's a little bit more easy for a lot of people because files can be a little bit uh, more advanced. So if you're not as tech savvy, notes might be a great way and you still aren't limited to things like you have these options down here where you can add another scan to the document, take a photo and add it, choose a video and things like that. You can share it out. So you still have the abilities to share this to others as well. So you can go through the apps you have on your phone and share it that way. So it really is personal preference on which one of these applications you use to scan your documents on your iPhone. Now, also, if you have receipts, these applications, all of them can scan those as well. So I've got preview open here and I'm just going to tap on scan document. I can hold my phone over a receipt here and there it is, my receipt. I can tap on the preview and now I've scanned my small receipt. So you're not limited to the size of what you're scanning. Now, a quick tip here as well, if you're in a pinch, you need speed, hold your finger on that app. All these apps now have these extra options here. You can actually hold your finger there, brings up these options, tap scan document, right away it'll open up that scanner. It works the same way in the notes app here. You can tap and hold, gives you scan documents. And even in files, tap and hold, when the options appear, there's scan documents. If you hold it too long, it's gonna start shaking and then you're gonna be in this deleting application section. 
But that is how you scan documents on the iPhone for free without any other extra apps, no extra downloads. Everything is here for you, ready to go. And Apple introduced the new preview app with iOS 26. If you're looking to learn more about the iPhones, the iPhone 17 models or iOS 26, or you want to get the most out of your iPhone, definitely subscribe to my channel. Click the bell notification box and the like button so you're notified when I post those new videos. I also have a full playlist of great iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you get the most out of these devices. The link to that is in the video description. Check it out. And as always, if you had any trouble with this video or have any questions, leave them in the comments. I try to respond to every comment that comes my way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.